Hello and welcome to Recyclist. It's February 16th, 2024. I'm your host, Eric Provost, and this is your weekly roundup of all the biggest news stories in the world of waste, gas, and energy presented by Diamond Scientific. First up, and as always, let's take a quick look at the stock market and five stocks on the move within the world of waste, gas, and energy. As of February 16, 2024, asking price for shares of waste management stock are currently at $200.88. Chenier Energy is currently at an asking price of $160.26. Chevron Core is currently at an asking price of $154.72. Vanguard ESG is at $89.53. And Vanek Low Carbon Energy is currently at an asking price of $97.28. But moving into the news, first up in international headlines, dominoes are beginning to fall when it comes to the international trade of biogas. Ukraine's parliament has advanced legislation to enable customs clearance of biomethane for international trade via gas pipelines. The procedural draft law was adopted in its first reading. Accompanying documents denote that Ukrainian companies are already working on producing biomethane and transporting it through pipeline networks. Up next, in California, the state would ban all plastic shopping bags in 2026 under a new bill announced in the state legislature. California already bans thin plastic shopping bags at grocery stores and other shops. However, shoppers at checkout still have the ability to purchase bags made with a thicker plastic that purportedly makes them reusable and recyclable. Twelve states, including California, already have some type of statewide plastic bag ban in place, according to the environmental advocacy group Environment America Research and Policy Center. Hundreds of cities across 28 states also have their own plastic bag bans in place. Up next, on the other side of the country, New Jersey has set a significant precedent by becoming the first state to require the recycling of electric vehicle batteries. This new legislation, which will come into effect January 2027, places the responsibility for EV battery recycling primarily on the manufacturer of these batteries. The act makes it illegal to dispose of EV batteries in landfills and instead mandates their reuse and recycling. The act also requires EV battery producers to register with the New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection starting January 2025 and to report the quantity of EV batteries they sell in the state by January 2026. And up next, moving to South Dakota, Clean Energy Fuels Corporation has announced the completion of two separate renewable natural gas projects within the state, totaling more than $70 million. Their new production facility at Drumgoon Dairy in Lake Norton, South Dakota, is expected to supply the surrounding community with 1.66 million gallons of renewable natural gas annually, with their brand new facility at Tricross Dairy in Viborg, South Dakota, adding an additional 1 million gallons to that total. The facility in Viborg, in fact, has already begun to inject renewable natural gas into the pipeline. And just a reminder, Recyclist is brought to you by Diamond Scientific, an industry leader in gas analysis, instrumentation, and solutions. Make sure to visit them online at diamondsci.com, that's diamondsci.com, or call them at 321-223-7500. Now let's hit some local headlines. Royal Oak in Michigan is adding food composting as part of its recycling pilot program. You can dispose of your food scraps for free as part of a composting pilot program at the Royal Oak Farmer's Market beginning February 24th, where Royal Oak Sustainability will offer free composting drop-offs from 8 a.m. to noon on Saturdays. The organization will also be working with Metro Food Rescue to help caterers, schools, and others who have large-scale food donations to make those donations. Now moving back to California for a moment, the city of Long Beach has entered into exclusive negotiations with Bioenergy Devco, the North American division of BTS Bioenergy, to construct an organics recycling facility that will recycle food waste, converting it into an organic soil amendment and renewable natural gas. 
Long Beach's facility will process up to 314,000 tons of organic material per year, mitigating the release of more than 47,000 tons of carbon dioxide equivalent into the atmosphere. The new facility will be constructed on the Southeast Resource Recovery Facility site previously operated by Covanta. The previous facility is slated to be decommissioned and demolished by the city later this year. And lastly, a special story coming out of Colorado as students at Canyon City High School have now recycled more than 600,000 pounds of electronic waste over the past 12 years using a program they call Tiger Recycling. Laptops, desktops, cell phones, printers, televisions, and assorted electronic waste are broken down and prepped by students and delivered to 3R Technology Solutions. In addition to keeping these materials out of landfills, the students learn how to safely take things apart, handle potentially hazardous waste, identify and sort materials, prepare items for shipping, and take in and weigh items from customers. The student-run business is also unique in that it is certified for recycling by the Colorado Department of Public Health and Environment, and it earns them money. But that has been your Recyclist News Update for February 16th, 2024, presented by Diamond Scientific. I've been your host, Eric Provost, and we'll see you back here next week for another brand new episode of Recyclist. Thank you.